Hey guys, so before this video starts, I want to say thank you for helping me reach 1.4k subscribers. So welcome anyone who is new and I hope you like my content. Anyways, I went into my analytics recently and I found out that 70.1% of you aren't subscribed. So if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and do that now as it really helps me out. Either way, hope you enjoy the video. Hi guys, so we're currently in Game Maker and I don't exactly know what I'm going to be doing in this video so basically I've got a few things I want to do but things will change along the video so I suggest you watch the whole thing to see what I do but the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is the weapon sort of selection. So currently what happens is if you select a weapon it will display on the character, however that only happens for certain items. Whoops, that was my phone, sorry about that. Either way, this happens currently for like the swords and a couple of the maces. So these are the only items that actually currently draws. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and basically copy this line of code for every single object and basically just kind of alter these um, values, the different strengths and stuff and such. And once I do that, I'll be back. And this won't be, um, this won't actually like be too hard because all I have to do is just copy this line of code and adjust the values depending on what object you're holding. So I'll be back once that is done. Okay guys, so I went ahead and created all the items to display when the player holds them. I also went ahead and changed a couple of little values here and there to make it look quite okay. Now I'm still going to be working on this throughout because, you know, my items will be changing, there'll be new weapons as such, but I'm going to show you what I have done. So right here on the ground I went ahead and put myself in a gold axe, a wooden spear, um, a silver axe and an eternum sword. So if we go ahead and pick all of them up, I'm going to now show you what they look like. So let's press I and let's go ahead and equip all these items into my inventory um, starting with the first axe this is what the axe will look like you can see it now displays and you can go ahead and attack with it now the attack is a lot slower than the sword one but I feel like I need to slow it down a little bit more your damage currently is 25 on the axe as well then we can go ahead and turn to the spear which is only 10 damage these are going to be sort of like starting items so this currently does this, doesn't actually have an attack animation yet, I'm going to have to go do that and the spinning looks a bit weird so I'm going to change that in a moment. Then we have the other axe, works exactly the same way, just um, actually the damage is still 25, I'm going to have to change that. But this is what it currently looks like, pretty nice I think. And finally the sword which we had earlier, 45 damage on this Eternum sword and it goes ahead and slashes quite a lot faster as such. So I went ahead, I also removed some of the background stuff because um, and kind of scaled a few things down here and there because they don't fit very well. So I'm going to still need to be scaling some of these items, like um, background scenery stuff because they don't fit in as much. Now, I must point out, I think I'm going to commission someone to go ahead and do all these like different buildings and so stuff because I'm not too great at um, kind of this sort of pixel art because it's quite big and it takes a lot of um, detail to make it look nice and cool. Final thing, um, a lot of you guys suggested to, well not a lot of you guys, like a person suggested not to have the snow over top here. So I can go ahead and maybe change that in a moment. But um, for now I'm going to go ahead and change this little bit here. And other than that, let's go ahead and start making the boss room. Hi guys, so I have created the next boss room and I'm still going to be developing it and kind of making it look nice over some streams but basically I'm going to show you how I made it work. So I created this object which is this called um, object next room. Now this will lead you to the next room which is the boss room. Currently it's a white box but I'll be changing kind of the sprite of it um, in a little while. Now if I go ahead and play my game I'll show you how this works exactly and I'll show you the whole boss room itself. Okay, so we have the main screen loaded. And I'll probably be changing this today as well, because I don't really like the main screen background, so that'll be done today probably as well. Anyway, we can go ahead and press a new game, and we're in the game. So let's go ahead and collect these four swords, which luckily we got four swords, which is kind of really lucky. But basically, if we keep walking, we come into here. So now we can go ahead and let's just equip a sword real quick and collect all this stuff. This is the current boss room, so it has snow and everything, but you can't go past anymore this way. Let me just quickly jump over this man. The background is a little bit different and this is where you can get to. Just a very short sort of room. Anyway, um, your health bar still appears and I'm nearly dead actually because of this man. Let's go ahead and kill him if we can. 
Go on, come on, come on. And there we go, we've killed him. And you go ahead and collect all your items. At this point, what I'm going to do is... The boss will be a little bit more difficult um, as I add more abilities to it and such. But at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little line of code that says that if the boss doesn't exist, go ahead and switch rooms. So I'm going to go ahead and fix all of that, um, add some assets into this boss room, and change the main UI of the game. So I'll be back once I do that. Alright guys, so I went ahead and sorted out the whole statue to take you to the boss room. Now this was quite simple, I went ahead and designed this simple like statue sprite. And then I went ahead and basically reused the code from my chest. Now for those who don't know, um, when you walk up to my chest, what will happen is it will come up with an E. Once you press the E, the chest will open and it will stay open. So for my case, I go ahead and if I walk up, there is a cool little E icon. And if I go ahead and walk away, it disappears. Now I can go ahead and walk up to it and I can go ahead and press E. And there we go, I've been taken into the other room. So so let's go ahead and pick up a weapon real quick and let's just use this Eternum Sword um, as previously because it's the most strongest for sword. And here is a boss and I've just been hit. This is unlucky. Now currently you can just go ahead and you know attack this boss like from here basically and it's kind of you know nice and easy. You can just keep attacking him. There is no really um, big challenge to it and then he dies. So I'm going to be going ahead and fixing that um, on stream. Um, but that's kind of the boss room at the moment. Now I haven't added this line of code that basically if the boss dies, go ahead and move to the other room. So this will be very simple. Um, I just need to go ahead and add, uh, add a kind of like if statement that checks if instance exists, or in this case doesn't exist, then go ahead and switch rooms. That will be very simple, once again, as I said. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing like transitions and cutscenes in probably in the next vi um, video. Now, the reason I'm gonna be doing it in the next video probably because um, I don't know how to do them and I'm going to have to watch quite a lot of tutorials and whatnot. And that's kind of about it. Now before we start the game, I also went ahead and sorted out some other things. So I had a few little glitchy things on the map in general kind of peeking through and stuff. So I went through and edited all of that. And yeah, this episode, not very long, kind of created the boss room and stuff. And um, that's about it that I've done. Now I'll show you where the boss room is so you can go ahead and run all the way to the end of the map. So let's go ahead and do that. You can roll there as well, um, which is quite cool. So let's go ahead and quickly run to it. It is at the end of the map, well, at the end of the town in this case, so it does take quite a while. Now, in the actual level, there's going to be NPCs and stuff you can do here, so you can like kind of level up and whatnot. Currently, as you see, there's literally no enemies at all, so there is not much you can do and whatnot. Um, and there we go, this is the little statue right at the end. You um, can't actually go past uh, any here, um, the statue at all. So I went ahead and added like a little- Also, a lot of you guys um, said the boss itself doesn't um, doesn't stand out very well. So he kind of um, isn't very visible. So that's why I went ahead and added less things in this room, just in general. Um, anyways, I'll be back once I sort out the sort of end scene of the boss. Now currently, I'm not gonna be adding any like, um, kind of writing. I was gonna have like cutscenes and stuff cool here. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and make them um, teleport the player back to the other room. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back in a moment. Okay guys, so I went ahead and added the line of code that basically checks if the enemy exists or the boss. So let's go ahead and quickly jump into this room. Um, let's quickly grab a weapon so we can kill him. I just used the Eternal Max, does 25 damage. Um, let's quickly kill this man. Actually, this might take a while because I'm using there we go, he's dead. And we still don't move to the other room. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly fix that. So let's see what's wrong here. Um, oh, I know what's wrong, I'm, I'm, that's, um, that's a little bit dumb. I went ahead and forgot to add the boss end. So let's go ahead and... Okay, so I went ahead and fixed that little issue of forgetting to add the actual um, controller into the room. So let's go back to the end of the room, which is gonna take another ages. Oh, by the way, I got loads of suggestions that like the boss should stun the player and whatnot. And I think I'm gonna do that on stream because I feel like I will need a little bit of help with that because I'm not great with AI or anything. So if you guys have any ideas of a way I could go ahead and make the um, the boss have other like abilities of like shooting maybe some ice spikes or stunning the player, that'd be really awesome. So let's go ahead and enter the room again and see what happens here. There we go. We went ahead and moved back and our XP has saved. Now, um, our items actually haven't saved. 
which is, um, hi guys, so this is Zyga from the future, and spoiler alert, I didn't actually fix the issue, so I'll be fixing that in the next, like, couple of episodes or something. Either way, I'm gonna be streaming, um, this week and next week, so make sure you're subscribed and turn post notifications on, and join, like, the squad, whatnot. Either way, that was really cringy, so I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video, and yeah, bye-bye! Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and fixed the thing on the way back. So for now I've moved this statue here because I had to test this too many times. I'm gonna equip the sword, let's go into the other room. And let's go ahead and kill the boss and I'll show you what happens. So basically, keep hitting the boss. And let's just quickly kill it, come on, just die. There we go, the boss has died. Now we can go ahead and collect all this like gold and whatnot. And I've added another statue here, and basically the statue checks that if the boss is dead, and you press E, and you press E, there we go, you move to the other room. Now for now what you have seen is that my inventory has basically reset. Um, I'll be trying to fix that off stream because that's a lot of saving and unsaving and database work and I don't have time for that at the moment. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching this video, sorry for it being kind of short and not very interesting. Either way, hope you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like a thumbs up or whatnot, subscribe, turn notifications on and we've get, been getting like a lot of support on this so I really appreciate it. Thank you guys and stay awesome, bye!